Hi everyone, Johnny from Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. Have you ever thought about how color can affect your videos visually, emotionally, or cinematically? That's the art of color theory. In this video, we'll be going over some basic color theory concepts and how you can apply it to your very own videos. Let's get started. One of the basic terms and concepts to know about color theory are hue, saturation, and luminance. Hue refers to the color or shade. White, black, and gray are never referred to as hue. Saturation refers to the strength and intensity of a color. And luminance describes the perspective brightness of a color. Now, if you want to know why these terms are important, it's a really good way to describe changes you want to make in post-production to your image. For example, in Filmora 9 under the Advanced Color Grading tool, there is a tool called HSL. This can help you adjust the hue, saturation, and luminance of your image. A tool that'll help you greatly in color theory is the color wheel. A color wheel is pretty much what it sounds like, a wheel with different colored sectors used to show a relationship between colors. I often use the color wheel as a reference for when I'm creating color contrast. Color contrast is the use of color to create visual hierarchy or some sort of visual aesthetic. Using any selection of colors can technically create contrast, but today we're going to be focusing on complementary colors. Complementary colors are colors located at opposite ends of the color wheel. Complementary pairs contrast because they share no common colors. For example, green and magenta are complements because magenta is made out of blue and red. A very common use of complementary colors is the teal and orange look. It's seen in many movies, YouTube videos, photographies, nature, and overall looks pretty good. In fact, we did a tutorial on how you can get this look in Filmora Pro. Check out the link in the description. One of the easiest ways to create color contrast is through the use of complementary colors. Now this can be accomplished in different ways, but today we're going to be using some lighting gear to get it done. Gels are sheets of plastic that can be put on a light source to change its color temperature. To get a teal and orange look, I will use one blue gel and one orange gel on each light. For this example, I'll use orange gelled light on the subject and the blue gelled light on the wall. In this example, we created color contrast by separating the subject and the background. There are many different gel colors you can pick, which you can buy online. However, if you don't have the budget for that, you can also look at colored light bulbs, bouncing light off of colored objects, or even using colored plastic bags. Gels are meant to withstand the heat from a light source, so using other objects, you might end up melting things and burning your house down. Don't do that. And that's a brief introduction to color theory and application. Thank you all for watching. If you want to learn more about color theory, let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to this channel for more video editing techniques. See you next time. Johnny out. Johnny, where are you going? <laughs>